My name is Sarita Aisha Kasli and the rule number is BB1650223. Today, my topic is about iohexole injection. So let's see what is iohexole. So the, the medication is used, this medication that is iohexole, it's used before x-ray imaging tests, such as CT scans. Iohexole contains IOD, it belongs to a class of drugs known as contrast media or dyes. It works by adding contrast to the body parts and fluids in these imaging tests. IOXO improves the images obtained during a CT scan so the doctor can easily diagnose the condition. So let's see what are the common side effects of IOXO. That includes headache, mild to moderate pain, including backache, neck ache, and stiffness. Nerve pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, hives. We have a laundry uh, list of common side effects caused by IOXO. So what is the mechanism of action of iohexole? The iodine atoms in iohexole provide attenuation of x-rays in different proportion to the concentration of iohexole. Since concentration changes over time, iohexole provides time-dependent image contrast, which may assist in visualizing body structures. So let's see the alternative choices we have instead of iohexol. Current alternatives include carbon dioxide, gadolinium, and dilute IC. What is carbon dioxide? The carbon dioxide is a highly soluble invisible gas. When injected into vessels, it briefly displaces the blood before it is rapidly dissolved and eliminated through exhalation. The unique properties of carbon dioxide give it several advantages over other contrast media. For most, carbon dioxide is not allergic and non-nephrotoxic, making it safe for use in patients with either contrast allergy or pigmentation. Second, we have is gadolinium. Gadolinium was, was heralded as an alternative contrast agent patient with CKD since its association with the disease nephrogenic system to process. In 2006, it used an in angiographic agent in patients with CKD with appropriately declined rapidly. Gadolinium once was heralded with an alternative contrast agent in patients with CKD. Since its association with the disease nephrogenic system to process in 2006, it's used as an angiographic agent in patients with CKD has appropriately declined rapidly. So let's see what we have in third. We have dilute ICM. Another alternative for patients with CKD undergoing vascular intervention is dilute ICM. The principal advantage of using dilute ICM is for greater familiarity with administration during diagnostic angiography and endovascular procedures. So the next question was, what are the alternative brands with low and high price option with respect to pharmacoeconomic point of view other than Iohexone. We have Iobricks, which is made by Hoofman Hub uh, from Pakistan, where the retail price is 1020. We have Omnipack injection, which is 50 ml, and the price is 421. And we have Iobricks injection, which is 30 ml, and the price is 918 rupees. So the available dosage form of Iohexone is the available in various concentrations ranging from 140 to 350 milligrams of iodine per milliliter in injection form. So next is the drug-drug interaction between dexamethasone, intensol, and iohexol. So the drug-drug interaction between dexamethasone, intensol, and iohexol is contraindicated for administration of corticosteroids with identified contrast media with the intrathecal loop may be associated with a high incidence of radiographic Arachnoiditis and meningitis seizures may also occur. So, management in the technical co administration of corticosteroids with iodinated contrast media is considered um, contraindicated. Then, the second drug drug interaction is between am aminophylline and iohexone. So, intrathecal administration of iodinated contrast media may to induce. Caesar is also clinical data are generally lacking. The management drugs that can lower the seizure hold threshold should preferably be held for at least 44, for 48 hours prior to and 24 hours following intrathecal administration of iron contrast media, provided the temp that temporary interruption of therapy does not pose an undue risk to the patient. So the third is betamethasone and iohexone. 
So co-administration of corticosteroids with iodinated contrast media by the intertreatment may be associated with a high incidence of paleographic arachnoiditis, meningitis, and seizures may also occur. So the next is metformin, radioactive iodine, beta adrenergic blocking agents. The use of beta adrenergic blocking agent lowers the threshold for an increased severity of contrast reaction, reduces the responsiveness of treatment of hypersensitivity reaction with epinephrine because of the risk of hypersensitivity reaction with administering omnipath to patients taking beta blockers. So the toxicology profile is that if if uh, if the overdose occurs, the adverse effects of the overdose are life-threatening and affect mainly the pulmonary and cardiovascular systems. The systems include cyanosis, bradycardia, acidosis, mulberry hemorrhage, convulsions, coma, and cardiac arrest. So here I have shown you the case study in which iohexol is used to determine or to show what it is. And the last slide is about references where I have taken the information from 